What is the difference between a native coin and a token? It is very simple. Remember, once upon a time, each blockchain had only one coin. For instance, Bitcoin had BTC and Litecoin had LTC. These are the basic native coins of these networks. They're called native. But when Ethereum introduced smart contracts and a virtual machine that third-party developers could use, it became possible to make your own coins based on the Ethereum network. Such coins are called tokens. Usually, tokens are created for the sake of some new properties that native coins don't have. For instance, uh, there are tokens whose value is pegged to a fiat currency. They're called stable coins. There are tokens that give you the right to register domain names. There are a lot of tokens and almost all of them can be bought and sold on cryptocurrency exchanges. Both the native coin and all the tokens living in the same network can use the same addresses. You can send, for example, uh, an Ether coin and a Shiba Inu token on the Ethereum network to the same address. The main thing to remember is that the token transfer fee is paid in the network's native coin. For instance, to transfer USDT in the Tron network, the fee would need to be paid in TRX coins. Custodial wallets owned by exchanges or exchange services can perform such transactions even if you don't have a native coin. The exchange will automatically pay your fee from its funds and in return it will take some of the tokens you send out. This of course is easier, but don't forget that the exchange or service may go bankrupt or be hacked and then all your funds will be gone. Therefore, keep the bulk of your crypto separately in a cold wallet, Tangent wallet, for instance, and your money will be secure.